Katsu 101, the history of Katsu. The history of Katsu begins in the fall of 1966 in Tokyo, Japan, with an 18-year-old Japanese man who had come from a family of physicians. The moment of discovery came when he was sitting on the floor in the traditional Japanese position called Seiza, with his feet under his hips. While kneeling on the tatami mat floor with a straight back, he started to massage his calves in order to relieve the pain as his legs were bent underneath him. This feeling of numbness and discomfort is not unexpected, but he suddenly had a revelation. With the weight of the, his body directly on his ankles, Sato realized that his blood circulation was blocked in his calves. He felt his legs had gone to sleep because of the reduced blood flow to his legs. But as he rubbed his calves to relieve the pain, he felt his calves had that pumped up feeling that he had always experienced when he lifted weights. This was the initial moment of inspiration. He thought he could replicate that pumped up feeling by reducing the blood flow to his legs and perhaps even to his arms. This is where the original idea of Katsu began on a straw mat floor in Tokyo by an eight year old who was very interested in getting pumped up. Sato recalled that the feeling of hardness in his calves, I wonder if I purposely constricted blood flow into my legs, I could somehow artificially replicate the physiological conditions and benefits of weightlifting. If this were true, could I benefit, that is get bigger and stronger by lifting no weights or perhaps only light weights instead of what is normally done with heavy weights? Over the next seven years, between 1966 and 1973, alone in his home, the young man from Tokyo diligently experimented on himself. He kept copious notes and applied different bicycle tubes, ropes, and bands at different pressures on different parts of his body. He put bicycle, bicycle tubes around his arms, around his legs, around his torso, even around his head. He methodically kept track of what type of bands and what uh, types of pressure worked best and which experiments failed. His focus was which bands and which pressures built up his muscles the biggest and the fastest. That is what he was after. He quickly and surprisingly began to see results in his musculature that could not be explained given the physiological knowledge of the day. Again, this is the 1960s. But the resulting effects of Katsu were clear, although the medical explanations why did not come for another few decades. After detailed and documented trial and error for the next seven years, Sato gradually developed effective protocols to safely enable optimal muscle growth. His research on his own body led him to determine what length and what width of bands are ideal and the optimal uh, degree and locations where to apply the katsu bands in various activities. We still use those basic katsu principles today. By 1973, Sato had fine-tuned the protocols of katsu. At the age of 25, he went on a ski trip where he badly fractured his ankle and tore the ligaments around his knee. The injuries were diagnosed and his own father, a local doctor, told Sato that it would take six months to heal but Sato was confident that Katsu could help him in some way. With a plaster cast on his leg, Sato rehabilitated himself with his Katsu bands applied to his upper leg. Because he could not withstand the discomfort of keeping the bands on for the usual du duration, Sato released the Katsu bands and then repeatedly tightened the bands. Release, tightened, release, tightens. He did a variety of isometric exercises on his legs for about 30 seconds on, and then he released his bands when he could no longer stand the discomfort. 
He did that over and over again, three times a day. Remarkably, he was able to walk and function normally after six weeks, fully recovered without surgery and without use of traditional medicine. The results of his re regimen that we now know as the cuts cycle surprised him. But what really surprised his family and other doctors was that his leg muscles did not atrophy at all. And of course, he was fully recovered within six weeks. For injuries and physical therapy, this cot cycle rehabilitation is used to this day. Word spread locally of Sato's unprecedented recovery. Demand for his new approach built rapidly around Tokyo. He eventually opened the Sato Sports Plaza in Tokyo, where the Katz Japan headquarters still exists. Sato applied his katsubans on local people of all ages and abilities over the next decade. Injured patients, healthy athletes, and older people, younger adults flocked to his office. While applying katsu to thousands of patients, Sato learned what was best, what worked best for people with various kinds of afflictions and injuries and from all walks of life. This was between 1973 and 1982. Sato observed that katsu enabled the human body to improve and heal itself most effectively and most efficiently than any other therapy or modality. Broken bones, torn ligaments, ruptured tendons, plain old muscle fatigue and shoulder pain were being treated like never before. He also encouraged people to focus mentally on the injured body part while doing katsu and observe how the intake of food and water before and after katsu also led to positive results. To him and his clients, the mind-body-spirit connection was clearly evident. By the 1980s, Japanese Olympic athletes and other professionals in golf and sumo were using katsu. In 1994, Sato applied for his first patents in Japan, the United States, and Europe, including the countries of England, Germany, France, and Italy. He started to make and commercialize the first katsu elastic bands. His reputation inside of Japan grew, but the bands at that time were long and elastic. The katsu bands were not yet pneumatic. By 1977, Sato introduced the Katsu Instructor Educational Program in Japan, where his defined protocols were shared with coaches, trainers, physical therapists, and physicians throughout Japan. Over 3,000 Katsu instructors were certified and hundreds of Katsu special instructor licenses were given to the most experienced instructors. These instructors conducted tens of thousands of Katsu sessions annually, and safely without complications. But first, they all had to undergo a year of apprenticeship under Sato. Media attention and public acceptance grew in Japan after Katsu was named one of the collaborative projects at the University of Tokyo Hospital, 22nd Century Medical and Research Center. This was in the year, in the year 2000. Sato also began to offer an ischemic circulatory physiological course at the University of Tokyo Hospital and conducted joint development work with the Japan Manned Space Systems Corporation in the beginning of the 21st century. Beginning in the mid-1990s, Sato began joint research with Professor Naokata Ishii at the University of Tokyo the premier university in Japan. Other researchers, including cardiologists, Dr. Nakajima and Dr. Morita at the University of Tokyo Hospital, started to explore the benefits of katsu. Their research results were submitted to and published in peer reviewed scientific journals. I first met Dr. Sato in 2001 when a 13 year mentorship began. By February 2014, Dr. Sato, Richard Hurstone, and I established Katsu 
Global in Huntington Beach, California, and the Center for Cots Research at the Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. Gradually, the Katsu team began to grow. The instructors of this Katsu at home course include some of these early adopters. Katsu is not now expanded throughout North America, South America, Australia, Europe, the Middle East and Asia. Katsu equipment has been used while training for climbs up Mount Everest and for swims across the English Channel. Katsu equipment is used by Olympic and professional athletes and is used by all kinds of military personnel, including soldiers on aircraft carriers and submariners. Katsu products include currently the Katsu Master 2.0 and the Katsu Cycle 2.0, with the Katsu Cycle 3.0 and Katsu wearables coming in 2021. These products are used in the military, medical, sports performance, wellness, and fitness markets for people as old as 104 years. The three primary areas of application are sports performance, physical rehabilitation, and recovery. <laughs>